On this episode, a mission menu. We're on our way to see an owner of a little Korean restaurant in the middle of New York's Hell's Kitchen. Right now, I'm barely covering my overhead. It's a completely different yeah. ball game. What are these again? Tree ear mushrooms. And they make Ricardo dance like a woman when he eats them. He always dances like a woman. <laughs> At the heart of every great restaurant is great food. My name is G, and this is the team. We're like the United Nation of chefs. We'll go anywhere and try anything to create the perfect menu. Cooking is what we do. Saving restaurants is our mission. We're on our way to see an owner of a little Korean restaurant in the middle of New York's Hell's Kitchen an area stuffed with trendy restaurants and bars. They've been open for three years and are struggling to make a profit. So Diane and I are going to see if we can help. Hello, hello. How are you? G Hi, my name is Gina. This is Gina, a first-time restaurant owner who basically has one thing on her menu, and that sounds like a recipe for disaster. So what is the kind of concept behind this particular brand you're trying to build? Well, we don't call ourselves a traditional Korean restaurant. Okay. Um, we serve bibop. It's a spin off of a traditional Korean dish called bibimbap. You can create it however you want. Okay. It goes in four basic steps. You can choose your base, which can be different rices, salad mm -hmm. or noodles, and then you pick your veggies and you pick your sauce. What do your parents think about you having a restaurant? In the beginning, uh, when I told my parents that I was going to actually open the restaurant myself, mm -hmm. they really didn't understand. Coming from a traditional Korean family, I know how difficult this is for Gina. It is frowned upon for females to own a business, especially a restaurant. Culturally speaking, being Korean and a female moving away from home and doing this, it's a completely different yeah. ball game. Right, I mean, and I grew up by myself since the fifth grade. Initially, my parents were kind of worried that I was too independent, too fearless, that I was going to get myself in trouble by just charging into things. And so that's what they thought I was doing with this as well. Mm -hmm. But with Bebop, I was able to show my parents I was actually able to execute it and make it right. come to life. Right. Yeah. I think that's when they really realized that I accomplish something. Any family members that are here kind of supporting you, or are you just all alone on this? My dad passed away, so I got out of Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry to hear that. This woman's had a rough stretch. She started this restaurant, and her parents didn't support the business. Now that they start supporting the business, her father passes away. I mean, we got to turn this business around for her. So how's business? Um, business is not exactly where I would like it to be now. So I am struggling, and I really do need advice from experts. Right now, I'm barely covering my overhead. Yeah, so what are you looking for from us? Maybe create a menu where we don't actually need um, much storage. Yeah, because I see the space is unique, you know? Yeah. Yes, and um, that's another big flaw, is that I was so obsessed with the design mm -hmm. of the store that I really didn't focus much on where all the magic happens, which is the kitchen. The function. This happens a lot with first-time restaurant owners. They get so caught up in the look and the decor, they forget about the heart and soul of a restaurant, which is the kitchen. I'm very curious to try their food. This is our classic bibop. It's our special, which is the closest to an original bibimbap. Thank you so much. Thank Enjoy. you. Enjoy. Thank, Thank you. You taste the kalbi, the, the marinade. It's like a sesame seed yeah. oil soy sauce with the beef. This is actually very good. This is great. The vegetables are cooked properly, mm -hmm. you know? The rice is cooked great. You're tasting all the individual items in this. You know, every bite, you're tasting something new. So this is really fun mm -hmm. to eat. This is, in general, is one of my favorite dishes to eat in Korean food. Mm -hmm. And this is, it's, it's good, but they need more. We need to build off this. They have one good idea, we need to give them a bunch more. Absolutely. And do it in a way that storage gets hit, quality gets hit, and consistency. Because mm -hmm. I can't just come to a place and eat this every day, all day long. Yeah. I can't. All right, let's talk to them. Let's see how much time we have on this menu. I think we have a clear idea of what we want to do here. Yeah. So how are your bebops? It was amazing. I mean, the 
you can just tell the vegetables were just perfectly prepared and it made you want to kind of dig into the point where we completely inhaled this. You're off to a fantastic idea. We're just gonna build on this. So how long do we have to dial in this menu for you? Well, I've been waiting for years, so I would really like to get the ball rolling as soon as possible, maybe three days. Three days. Seems to be a normal thing for us. That's like really? the magic yeah. number. That's our magic yeah. number. Three's my three favorite days. number. Well, three is, seems to be everybody's favorite number. Hey, hey, hey. Gina, thank you so much, OK? Thank you so it's going to be our pleasure, all right? I'm super eager, and right. we will see thank you soon with the amazing new menu. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. It's been a rough couple of years. When my parents saw my concept actually come to life, they were very proud of me. And I was blessed to hear that from my father and know that my dad had approved and was proud, proud of me. Soon after that, he passed away. I hope and pray that this menu turns everything around.